Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be sitting down with Claudia Lima Ginut to talk about her amazing career in fashion and in leadership roles. Claudia, hi. So nice to be here, Roni. <laughs> excited to be talking to you today. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you do currently. I'm a chief merchant officer at a major accessories and jewelry company. I've been in retail my whole career and in fashion, um, nearly 25 years now. It's incredible that I'm actually saying that number out loud. Don't have to. <laughs> no. I love what I do. I basically lead design, sourcing, merchandising, and merchandise planning functions, along with uh, visual merchandising and uh, technology, organizational transformation, um, and everything basically that happens um, within a large organization that's consumer facing. So it's super exciting. It's very dynamic. Uh, agility is super important. Being a woman brings its challenges, but also its benefits in someone mm. in my role. What kind of benefit? I think that women are underestimated for the power of empathy mm -hmm. and empathetic leaders tend to create more buy-in within organizations. And, and I like to say that before you can have accountability and empowerment, you need trust. And that trust um, is much more easily earned from a leader who has clarity, has a vision, but is also empathetic. Mm -hmm. I love that. I totally agree, actually. How do you feel your fashion choices and what you wear to work plays a role in your feeling? Oh, well, it, it has a lot to do with how I'm feeling mm -hmm. and, and what I'm doing that day and who I'm seeing and how I want to show up not only for myself, but to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm having a very casual meeting where it's a very intimate setting, I will probably be more casual. Mm -hmm. If it's a very high stakes meeting with other senior leaders across the industry, you know, I will put like my power clothes on. What is power clothes to you? Um, power clothes to me is anything that really makes me feel confident, um, whatever that might mean. My, one day it may be a dress, another day it may be a pantsuit, uh, the next day it might be leather pants. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it depends on, again, the, the day, the timing, what's going on in fashion, mm -hmm. um, the season, obviously. Obviously. The Ultimately, location. The location, very important. The country. The, the country, city. exactly. The city, the culture, yeah. all of those things uh, come into play. And, you know, for someone like me who travels a lot for work, who has a lot of international partners, culture mm -hmm. also does play a big part of it. So being mindful of the culture that you're in and Absolutely. the social norms and, and everything else. But, but yeah, I mean, fashion is, I think, the... The, the, my first outfit that then allows me to outwardly express my confidence. It's like kind of judging the book by its cover, but in a positive way. Being in fashion and being in these roles for such a long time, there's something to be said about do the role, act the role, look the part before the part is even yours, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. And that's, that's very important because at the end of the day, we do live in a society where perception matters. Mm -hmm. And perception is something that, you know, you can absolutely control with um, your fashion yeah. choices and, and how you want to, what matters more to you, how you are your most authentic self, whatever mm -hmm. that is, right? Right. Being comfortable Absolutely. with what you're wearing and conveying a message. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What are your fashion go-to pieces? Mm. Always dresses. Mm. I am a dress person. It is easy to pack. I only have to think about one item. and One-stop shop. One-stop shop, <laughs> uh, which is important. And again, I, I, dresses just work in so many different environments. Um, and, and to me, it's the ease of it, especially mm -hmm. for someone that, like me that travels a lot mm -hmm. and packing can be nerve wracking, right. particularly because you're talking to someone that does not check in 90% of the time. Yeah. I kind of want to know how many suitcases do you take with you? I don't check in and I use one suitcase. Stop. Yes. Anything under Wait, seven days. It, meaning like you don't give it to be yes. checked under the plane? Yes. Stop. Yeah. I don't believe you. Yeah. You take, so I'm sorry, you take a carry-on. Yes, I take a carry-on. I don't on. believe you. you it is You need true. to write a book. I need to see a video. <laughs> it is true. Wow. It is true. Which is why my fashion choices many times, especially when I'm traveling for work, center around my packing. Interesting. Yes. Yes. I need to know more. 
Yes, absolutely. So dresses are okay. my go-to. Dresses, I love absolutely. it. Who would you say is your fashion icon or inspiration? I would say Coco Chanel. Very much so because she was daring. She was ahead of her time. She wasn't really conforming to the trends. She was creating her own path and she led with style. And I do think there's a difference between trends and style. Mm -hmm. um, and having your own style is, is super important. Trends are right. extremely important. Right. But when I think about my icon, I, I love icons that just have a, a very natural sense of style mm -hmm. that is timeless, although it may change. Right through time. Well, Chanel's style has yes, changed so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Has there been an obstacle in your career that you feel like you had to overcome and something that you would share with other young women, kind of, kind of giving them some guidance? Empathy. And how in some boardrooms for a very long time that was seen as a weakness, mm -hmm. especially at sea level and senior leadership at the table, across that table. Most of the times um, there were mostly men mm -hmm. um, for a really long time and that was sometimes difficult however like i said i think it's kindness and empathy can be seen that as weaknesses but they're actually very powerful strengths mm -hmm. and once you understand that and you own that not only are you able to live in your truth but you're, you also become a better leader mm -hmm. because you lead from a really authentic place. Mm -hmm. I need to know, what do you like to wear to the boardroom? I know sometimes dresses, but like, yes. if you had a meeting today, what would you put on? It would start with high heels, a fantastic skirt, uh, and an amazing blazer. Top underneath. What color? Uh, today I'm in a white mood, mm -hmm. so today it would be white, yeah. but I can't lie, I love your um, fuchsia uh, and, yeah. and your pink shade yeah. that you have. Yeah. Actually, one of your dresses, every time I wear it, I get compliments. Oh, I love that. And it's like this gorgeous fuchsia color. One? Yes. <laughs> every single, like literally I get stopped in the street and yeah. my husband is like, why are you telling me my wife looks gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a positive daily routine? I, I try to start my day with mindfulness and really find some time for, um, for me before mm -hmm. I start the day, because after that, so much of it is like giving, right? You're yeah. giving to your team, you're giving to the business, you're giving your mental energy, your creative energy mm -hmm. is all outwardly facing. Mm -hmm. So just trying to start the day mm -hmm. uh, with that. And then of course, walking my dogs every morning. Bella and Buster. Yeah, Bella and Buster, my, my two. Bella and Daisy's friends. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know they love each other. <laughs> And also your son. Yes, and my son. <laughs> yes, and my son, my 16-year-old. Um, Teenager. Yes, who is in England and Cambridge oh my right God, now. Amazing. Uh, doing a fantastic program, um, but he's 16, so he doesn't want to walk with me every yeah. morning. He's like, he's done with that. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. now it's uh, it's us and the doggies. Now this is like a speed round. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite brunch look? Jeans cute sandals, um, and a cute top. What's your favorite restaurant for brunch? Cassie's. I knew you were gonna say brunches. It's like the ultimate brunch. It is. It, it really is. is. It really is, yes. What is your favorite look for a girl's night out? Well, I'm super eclectic on girls' night out. So sometimes it's a really sexy dress. Mm -hmm. Um, other times it can be a really sexy jumpsuit. So I guess sexy. I think, I think the common denominator is sexy. <laughs> what is your favorite travel look? I think that's very fitting for you since you travel. So oh yes, okay. So my favorite travel look is this balance of chic but comfortable. Typically loafers or flat shoes with like some great tailored wide pants mm. and a easy blouse. So you're not like a sweats uh, travel. I am it. not. You're like a put together. Yes, I am. Actually, yes. why did I even think you would be a sweats person? You are, yes. I like it. Um, depending on how long the flight is, then I ask for pajamas. You ask them for pajamas? Yes. And then they give them to you? Yes. I didn't even know they have pajamas. Yes. I see. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you put them on in the bathroom and then you don't need to put them on. <laughs> I'm going to ask for pajamas. Yes. You want their pajamas? Well, just so you don't yeah. wrinkle your clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would just bring a change of pajamas. What is your favorite cocktail? I love margaritas, mm. but I don't like them on the rocks. So I am now going through a phase where I ask for mar my margaritas up, which I have to say are delicious. 
very messy though, right? If you start moving. Well, no, I mean, they're like a, yeah. a, a martini glass. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not that bad. Okay. But it makes it, I don't know, Ele it elevates elegant. the cocktail. Yes. What is your favorite season of fashion? It has to be fall. Yes. It is my favorite season. <laughs> I, I am a big layering person because I'm always cold. Right, of course. So, February 19th. Yes. Uh, layering opportunities are, you know, my most exciting time of the year. <laughs> and I love just the different fabrics, um, mm -hmm. the different knits and, and, and chunky knits that you can wear. And I'm going through a hat moment. So I it love, looks great on you. I love my, my hat. And fall is like a perfect time for yeah. that as well. What is your spirit fashion piece? An amazing pair of leather pants. Love it. Thank yeah. you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Yay. To fashion and to friends. To fashion and fashion women. And friends and women. Yes. Love it.